All right, hello, I'm back again. Um, this video is going to be about interviewing. So, obviously, you know, you got your resume, you went to the career fair, and lucky you, you got an interview. So, um, this is just gonna be very, you know, not very specific, but just general things about interviews and what you should, and I guess shouldn't do. Um, most likely, if it's your first interview, you will be very nervous. As I said, with the career fair, if it's everything your first time, you're probably going to be nervous. But um, just try and have as much confidence as you possibly can. Um, and because kind of recruiters can kind of tell if you're, you know, nervous and things like that. So try and have confidence. Show your personality. There's a lot of people that I know that have a lot of personality, but um, I feel like when they're in the presence of you know recruiters and things like that all that kind of goes away but it's really important to show you know these recruiters that you have a personality and you can you know do well with other people and like you know get along with other people and just be a good presence to work around with because at the end of the day they want to hire somebody that they would wouldn't mind working with you know anyways so with with that said um just have confidence in answering your questions. You want to answer them in a certain way. So basically, you start off telling them, you know, the, it, what the issue was, okay? And then after you talk about what the issue was, talk about what you did, not what you, we did, not what your group did. Talk about what you did. They don't care about what your group did. They care about what you did. So talk about what you did to, um, you know, resolve that issue or what you did in that particular situation that they're asking you about. And after you talk about that, then talk about the outcome of it. What was the outcome? What What did you gain from it? What happened after you did whatever you did? And also, it, it also is a good thing if you can throw in some numbers so they have something to, you know, grasp, grasp to as far as like how much increase did it that much um like what grade you got for example oh after i did da, 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 we ended up getting an a we ended up you know being invited to an award show things like that or if you were planning an event oh we ended up raising a thousand dollars like put in numbers and strong figures that they can remember and things like that so like i said start out with the issue what the issue was talk about how you as a person resolve that issue and then also talk about the outcome of the issue don't just jumble everything together okay start 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 at the beginning and finish at the end and they want to just know when you're answering questions they don't really just care about your answer they want to they also they care also about how you answer the question if that makes sense so um that's probably the best advice i can give you in terms of interviews is that sequence of answering questions because it's easy to follow for one, and it gives them every bit of information that they're most likely looking for. And so, some of the questions that they might ask you, again, every company is different, but um, most of my interviews uh, that I have had, let me count them in. One, two, three, four, five, six, well, let me count it. One, I had. I had four interviews my freshman year. Uh, was that my, my my sophomore year? Um, and then I didn't really interview for a while. And then I did one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think I've had. Sorry. I think I've, I've interviewed about six or seven times in total. I don't really remember. I think seven, about seven times in total. Um, I didn't interview for like a two-year period because I was doing, I did a back-to-back -back internship, so I didn't need to interview, but I think I have like a total of seven, intern, seven, seven interviews. But anyways, um, some of the major, like most common questions that I got asked was like things like, um, behavioral questions. I never was in an interview where I got asked technical questions, so I can't really help you with that. But most companies, you know, they have more behavioral, um, inter behavioral interviews as far as like how you, how you handle things and how you, you know, are able to uh, deal.
deal with other people or handle difficult situations and things like that. So questions like, okay, they will say, give me a time where you were in a group project or a group, you know, um, activity or um, you had an assignment, a group assignment, and one of your group members wasn't doing anything. How did you handle that situation? What did you do, and um, what was the outcome? So, you know. You, you go ahead and answer. The another question is, um, what was your most difficult subject? You know, I've gotten that question. What was your most difficult subject? You know, so far in college, and you know, how did you? Um, how were you able to um, succeed or not succeed? What was you know? How did you? Uh, if you didn't succeed, obviously, what did you learn from it? Um, another question that I I got asked a couple times is, you know, what is your weakest? This is a common question. What's your what's your weakest um, char characteristic? What's your um, strongest characteristic? Like what 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 do you think you do the best, or what you know things like that? Um, what else? 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 Um, they give you situational questions like give me a time where oh this is another question. Give me a time where you um, had an idea that you had to convince. A whole, I mean, you had to convince other people to go along with your idea. Like, give me, give me an instance where you thought of something that you wanted to do and convince other people to go along, you know, convince other people to agree and go along with your idea, whether it was for a project, um, an event, whatever the case is. Give me a, you know, a situation where that happened to you and, you know, how, how were you able to convince other people? Things like that. So they might ask, like, if you've had an internship before, they can. They might ask, like, give me a time where you had a project that you had no idea, like, you had no idea what to do, or you had you do not really understand the project, or you know you're starting from square one. How were you able to get enough knowledge to complete your project successfully? Just questions like that. Basically, just situational questions that may or may not have ever happened to you, which is the problem. But what I can say is don't be afraid to say you don't have an answer that that hasn't, you know, that I don't really, that's never happened to me, but this is what I would do. Um, and also if you had an instance where you didn't even do the right thing, you can say, oh, I did this, but I learned that that's not the way to go, you know, that I should have done this instead. Um, I wouldn't really advise you, advise you to make up something unless you're just like really, 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 really good at like making up stuff on a point, which again, I really wouldn't advise that, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I never really made up anything because like, that's another reason why I say like get involved in a lot of things and try and get like leadership roles because when you do all these things, most of these questions you're gonna have an answer to because there will most likely be a time where you were in that situation. Like the the question about give me a time where you have to convince other people to go with your idea. That's happened to me a couple times. Or give me an example when you know you had a group project and somebody wasn't doing any work. That's happened to me plenty of times. So you just kind of try and get involved. That's why I, I advise you to you know get into these organizations and things like that and get into leadership leadership roles so that you have like a breath of things to talk about in interviews. So, um, most likely at the end of the interview, they're gonna ask you, hey, do you have any questions for us? And that is a very important time because I feel like it's very important to have questions for them because you can't be like, oh no, you've answered everything. Oh, oh no, nothing, thank you so much, bye. No, you want to keep that conversation going. So, I would definitely have questions that you have for them. And I mentioned in my last video some questions you can ask at the um, career firms. There's, there's, these are some questions that you can also ask in an interview. Like, what is your favorite thing about this company? What is, you know, uh, what is one thing that this company does that, you know, is better than all these other companies that are in the same industry? Um, what is the day-to-day -day life for you? What is the work-life balance? Uh, what are some of the benefits that you have um, as, as a company? Um, how was the, yeah, I said work-life balance. How is that? How is that? Um, your internship program, if you're looking for an internship, how is it structured? Am I going to have a mentor? Am I going to have a supervisor? Am I going to have someone that's going to be, you know, next to me helping me out? Uh, which is what a mentor is, by the way. And then, um, if you're full time, like, um, do I have, a, you know, do I have a choice as to what month I want to start? Things like that. I mean, there's so many questions you can ask. Um, 
Also, you can ask, you know, you know, when should I expect to hear back from you if I was successful or unsuccessful in this interview? Um, just things like things like that. Basically, you want to have questions. So um, you can most likely what I mean, most what most of the times what I did was I I thought of questions that I wanted to ask them beforehand, and sometimes during the interview, questions would pop up in my head and. Literally for like 20 minutes or 10, at least 10 minutes, I'm asking them questions because, yeah, it's your turn. <laughs> so, yeah, um, do that. And most likely, I mean, if they see you as a good fit, and sometimes it's not really you, so if you don't get, you know, that offer, don't think, oh, you know, don't feel too bad because sometimes it just has to do with business need. They might not be looking for mechanical engineers at the time, they might not have you know, a lot of positions available for a mechanical engineering internship. They might, you know, be looking towards hiring just petroleum engineers or electrical engineers and things like that. So it doesn't always have to do with you and how you did in the interview. Sometimes it's just a business need and what they had at that time. So don't feel too bad about it. Um, I've gotten no's a lot. Like my first, my, uh, my sophomore year, or freshman year, whatever, it was sophomore year, um, I interviewed with like three major companies and I got no's from all from two of them yeah actually I, I think it was yeah from wait I got I mean I interviewed with four major companies sorry and I got no's from three of them <laughs> like straight up no <laughs> so and then the last minute I got a yes from one of them so yeah it just depends it's not necessarily you know it's not necessarily, it doesn't always have to do with you and your grades and how you did and it just depends on what they were looking for at the time. But yeah, I think I'm rambling now, so I'm going to go ahead and stop. Uh, if you have any questions regarding interviews, answer, I mean, ask them on this video, please. And um, like I said, share it with any of your friends that might be in engineering majors or I hope, I hope this also helps other majors, honestly speaking. I feel like a lot of this thing can apply to business majors and, you know, um, other, I mean, you know, all the other the other um, industries out there so yeah hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll see y'all later bye really liking it it was kind of hard and I didn't really see you know I didn't really enjoy it so just kind of like uh, I don't know if I want to do this anymore but um